Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 13 of the Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Whoops, go on button. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Uh, no extra coins today. Today's problem is UTF-8 validation. Okay, let's see. I think I've done this recently because it was one of the... Uh, I could be wrong, but I think this is one of the the blind or grind 75 or 50 or whatever it is. Um, and I think I've done this recently, like a month ago. Ah, actually, less than a Oh, no, it was about a month ago. But it seems like I have a lot of silly mistakes. So maybe, hopefully, this time I will have fewer silly mistakes. Uh, let's see. Wow, two thousand. Uh, the, the ratio is not very good. Okay, so what, which one is this one again? I feel like I've done it. So, well, I mean, I, and apparently I have, but. Uh, okay, so it just seems like there are some rules and we just have to fit it. I say this now knowing that I fail, got wrong answer four times is a little bit interesting, but okay. Uh, okay, only the least significant eight bits of each integer is used to store the data. Okay, fine. Uh, okay. Okay, so, yeah, so it's only between 255. Okay. So, uh, okay, fine. So, n is equal to length of data. Oops. So, I think this is just try to follow the rule as best as you can. I don't know that there's anything. Well, there are a lot of, other than, or I don't know that there's any algorithm that's tricky about it. It's just about being careful of edge cases, which I clearly was not. But the, but I, during the, the, the blind 75, I was just speed racing, right? So, I don't know that that would, you know, I don't know, depend on how you want to say it. I don't know if it counts, but okay. So, okay. Uh, the first bit is, okay. So for one byte characters, okay. Well, maybe I'll just go um, I is equal to zero. Something like this, so we could do it maybe m multiple and as at a time. But one byte characters, then okay. If that is sub i, do, 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 do. uh, what was is it? seven, right? Is greater than zero. So if this. Oh wait, no. This is this would be if this was okay. So it's a one byte character. What does it say? Oh, we turn we turn whether it is valid. Okay, one byte character. Then we can we increment? We continue, right? Um, otherwise, then the first n bits are all ones. For an n byte character, the first n bits are all ones. n plus one byte bit is zero. Followed by n minus one bytes are the most significant two bits, being ten. Did I misunderstood this? Oh, 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 oh. and the the bytes are uh, ten. Okay, so that means that otherwise we have to count the number of bytes. Uh, okay, that's a dog. Uh, and then... Mm, yeah, while that is sub i, we end it with do, 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 something like that maybe. So while this is greater than zero, we increment. And this can only go up to four. Well, Okay, so I guess we have to do maybe an end check. I don't know if this is true. M P is um I don't know, less than five, I guess. Just to be sure. And then if B is greater so we do zero one so zero Okay, so yeah, if this is greater than four, we return false. Okay. Uh, otherwise, we have b bits, and then we check that the next n minus one. 
Okay, so then that means that for uh, let's say J in range of P, uh, well, we check that. Uh, okay, if I plus J is you know our bounds, then we return false. Otherwise, if data sub I plus J, uh, this has to start at one because we already know that I doesn't have it. So uh, if this and uh, this is awkward, but uh, hmm. uh, something like that. If this is equal to 10 or if it's not equal to 10 meaning uh, if it's not equal to duh, 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 then we turn false otherwise we can continue okay and then here we i increment by b okay and then we turn true otherwise this is good i don't know this time i'm much slower than last time i did it i assume because i feel very slow today Okay, let's try this real quick. There are a lot of possible wrong answers, but at least I got this part correct. Uh, let's give it some minutes, mostly because I'm lazy. <laughs> it's still 7 a.m. here in Dublin. So yeah, 145, huh? I don't know why this is wrong, so. Um, hmm. Uh, okay, maybe I should be a little bit less lazy though. But okay, let's print out the bin of x for x in data, so that we can kind of visualize this in a you know binary kind of way. Um, hmm, that's how we use. Well, why is this giving me this? Oh, I guess I have to convert it to a list. Hmm. A little bit rusty in the morning. Still got a lot work. Okay, so this one it goes one zero. Okay. Huh. So if things is one byte. Does it have to be one byte? Well, what do I return? I return true. Expect the answer is false. Mm, I see. The next zero byte is good, right? Oh, it has to be all. doesn't really say whether why is this force again because it, it just say that this one and then the next n minus one pi I actually don't know uh, hmm like I'm, I'm, I can definitely you know special case this but I just don't see how you could read that from the input uh, from the sample hmm like if like i i don't i can't tell whether this n can be one or whether the rest has to be zero right like i it doesn't say that it ha it has to. The first one bit is row ones, next one is zero, and then it doesn't say anything about the other bits, right? So I don't know which part of this I have to validate. I think that's the uh, thing. Okay, maybe we just try if b is equal to one or this. I really don't know. They don't really. Th I can read this from here. I could be wrong, but because uh, it's just unclear. Maybe I made the same thing last time. Oh, that, really? Wow. I mean, I'm happier that I got it early, but it's just unclear that, I mean, it, uh, anyway. Okay, so 896 day streak. Yay, consistency, key, uh, consistency is key. It's not clear that N, this N cannot be one, right? Like, if they just add that, maybe that's fine, but... Like, because I hear I have to do some guesswork. I show him. Da, 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 da. Uh, I guess that's one way to do it. I didn't do it that way, though. But, hmm. 
Um, hmm. I'm just curious what I did last time. Oh, this is my code from last time. I guess it's very similar. Actually, I I, I have a help count prefix thing, but one time error, and then I have oh I did I is this the same number? I got the wrong same wrong no, uh, answer. At least that's consistent. It, uh, and then I added what did I add? Hmm. I think I, I fixed this in other way last time. I don't know what I did to... Uh, well, okay, let's see. Hmm. That is a print statement. Oh, I did if offset is equal to 1, this is false, and I still got another wrong answer. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I was a little bit more sloppy last time. Hmm. Don't know. Or maybe that I chose the n is greater than four. Maybe <laughs> I'm just trying to like what, what is this fix then? Oh, this fix was me return true was inside and I take it outside. That's actually a very silly mistake. Okay, well, but I was I was speed running this last time. So, uh, and then here I oh. Yeah, and then here I do an offset is greater than five. So I guess this time I was a little bit better about it. But to be honest, well, the two things really. Um, one, this is the specs can be a little bit better. Uh, but otherwise, I think I did a pretty okay on this one. I just wasn't sure if, you know, n is equal to one. We can still do this. You can like that's literally if you, they add like five words, we would have gotten it first try. The second thing is that. Yeah, okay, a lot of people hate this, <laughs> but this is probably as work relevant as uh, as you can get as on a quote-unquote interview question, right? Um, and then maybe part of that is asking for more specs if you get this on an interview, because and that also <laughs> the most we, uh, most assembles uh, uh, a work interview or a work situation. Uh, so people always complain about how, you know, interview doesn't, it's not similar to what you do at work. And then when it does, people complain about how they're doing work for free. So I don't know. So make up your mind. <laughs> not, I mean, you know, I'm just venting in general. I mean, if, if that's not you, feel free to ignore. But no, no. Um, but so I do feel this is kind of in that sense related to, um, relating to, you know, you, the most resemble your 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 uh, actual work, um, so in that sense, it's fine. Uh, I don't know. Don't really have much more to say to this one though. This is uh, linear time. Li oh, uh, I forgot to take out the print statement actually. Oops. But um, linear time and yeah, uh, constant space seems like right. Uh, if you don't count the random print statement that I had by accident. Uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I have, though. So let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. To good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Huh. Uh, still not that slow. Bye-bye. Right.